a lot, the um, alpaca comes with its own managed instance of um, a llama in the background. So you don't need to do this bit. But I can't, I've, every one I've installed so far, it hasn't used the, the um, GPU for the AI part. So you end up doing your model in sort of like CPU, which is much slower. So I always do this because I know that this will actually um, do the AI element in the VRAM because it should download, detect my processor, and off it goes. To detect my GPU, I should say. Here we go. Here we go. Nearly there. 90%. That's brilliant how far we come with this stuff. This used to be so setting up AIs and stuff. Yes, it used to be an epic. So that's done. So that's in. And you can see it's like running at a certain IP address. So then what I need to do is basically just open Alpaca. And then with Alpaca, I need to just connect it to this and it should run. But as I said, I mean, something to watch for is this, this bit where it doesn't run. It's downloaded. I don't think it did then actually. Let's see, we'll launch our pack on it. It might not be able to work with the instance. And so I need to run it, which is pretty simple. There it is. So brilliant program this. It, it's really, really handy to have it on your desktop. There's tons of applications for having an AI locally. And if you've got a 16 gig video card, it's no, you know, no excuse not to do it. So just jump into here, manage instances, and it's trying to get you, it'll try to get you to do an Alama manager, which is the installed version, but we want to do the one that's, okay, let's click save. No, I think that's, I don't think it's running. Because obviously what happens is if Alama's running, it'll pick it up and that will save. So I'm going to have to jump out and go into terminal and run Alama. Okay, so let's jump into terminal quickly. It's really simple to run Alama. Just type Alama just to see what's going on. Yeah, and then Alama serve. If it's already running, you'll get a load of errors. If it's not running, you 